got a really quick little drum lesson here for you. This is another one in the uh, simple but not necessarily easy series of drum fills. What makes this really simple is that it's just a straight 16th note pattern, hand foot combination. What makes it not easy is, of course, you know, once we start to ramp it up to speed and really kind of, you know, change the voicing and stuff like that, it's pretty complicated just by way of, you know, the kind of accuracy that it takes to pull this off. But it's, like I said, it's really, really simple. And the other really cool thing about this is it has kind of a polyrhythmic feel to it. It's a two bar fill, but we're actually doing, it's almost got like a two over three sort of thing going on through it, where the combination we're doing with our hands and feet is we're starting off with four in the hands, two in the feet, four in the hands, two in the feet. But like I said, it's just straight 16th notes. So that's what gives it sort of that, uh, you know, like two over three feel. So it's simply gonna work like this. That's the first part of the pattern. <laughs> like I said, really, really simple. We just do that twice. And then to finish it off, we just do a two and two. Okay, so why it is, like I said, it has sort of that two over three kind of feel is that because we're doing straight 16th notes, we're not doing any mix stickings, we're not doing any, like we're not changing any of the note values. When we count it out over just a bar of four, it works like this. So it's one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. See how that works? So like I said, really, really simple. But once we start to ramp it up, I mean, it's a bit of a challenge to, you know, really be accurate with your timing and get everything working the way they should, uh, you know, like by way of your note values, like keeping them even and constant and all that kind of fun stuff. So, I mean, really the best way to go through this is I'm just going to show you some examples of how to apply this. Take it, make it your own and start being creative, you know, thinking about different voicings around the kit and how you can really start to expand this. I mean, you could turn this into a four bar fill easily. You could do just a really quick little one bar fill with it. I mean, there's all sorts of directions you can take this. So. Have some fun with it and we'll see you in the next lesson.